Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation. And for today's video, we're going to be going over the new Black Friday <laughs> deals that just came out today. And now I'm not going to lie, there are parts of me that like the fact that we even got a Black Friday deal. But on the other hand, uh, other parts of me also fairly disappointed and maybe even a little bit upset about the fact that the deals that we did get are kind of completely against the whole point of what Black Friday is supposed to be about. Now, just to jump into it, it's deals like this, which I'll get into a sec, that completely baffle me and just make me wonder, like, what the heck is going on at, like, Square Enix HQ and stuff. Like, I... It, it, it just it just completely baffles me a lot of times and it's when I see stuff like this that legitimately makes me not want to play the game just because of how obvious and blatant it is that they that they just want our money. They don't really care about us as players. The whole point of this game is just for them to make money, which just makes it even worse because of the fact that they're basically forcing any like legitimate Kingdom Hearts fan to play this game because of the fact it's canon to the lore. Which is probably the worst part about this. If it wasn't because of that fact and Union Cross just was just some kind of a side game that you didn't have to play for the story. like As part of the main Kingdom Hearts franchise. You could just play it on the side just because it, it was Kingdom Hearts and stuff. Um, then it wouldn't be as bad. I wouldn't be saying a bunch of, a bunch of these things. But because of the fact that it is legitimately tied to the Kingdom Hearts franchise and canon lore and stuff. Uh, to me that just makes things even worse. Now, just as a disclaimer, well, these type of things that I'm saying are just purely based off of my perspective uh, and how I view a lot of these things. Not everyone's going to view these uh, things the same way that I do. This is just coming from my perspective as a player, especially as a Kingdom Hearts player myself. Um, and even, I guess you could say, as someone coming from the U.S. because I don't even know people have Black Friday stuff in other countries. But at least from my viewpoint as a U.S. citizen and as a diehard Kingdom Hearts fan, a lot of these complaints and such that I might be presenting are at the very least from my perspective. Uh, and it's very possible that some of you may be sharing the same type of sentiment. Uh, but anyways, let's quickly go over what the Black Friday deals are. Uh, and then we'll discuss them afterwards in a second. Uh, so first of all, they noticed that if you purchase the VIP deal starting on monday like so on monday's vip deal not the current one for the rest of this week we only have like a few days left for this week but i'm talking about the one on the 26th of november which is this coming monday you will have access to the exclusive uh deal that they're coming along with the vip deal which is where when you spend uh, your jewels on specific banners such as like a bunch of the new black friday banners and stuff you will get half of the jewels that you spent back I believe on December fifth. Uh, now keep in mind there is a limit of twenty thousand jewels that you can get back. So for example, if you spend up to forty thousand jewels, you will get twenty thousand back. But if you spend any higher than forty thousand, you will only get twenty thousand back. You won't get higher than twenty thousand. And like I mentioned before as well, the jewels aren't instant. You don't get them back immediately you can only get them back on December 5th, as is noted in their like, the fine print right here. <laughs> um, so you pretty much need to have already have the jewels in order to even make use of these Black Friday, of the VIP Black Friday deal anyways. Next up are going more into the actual banner deals that they presented us as well. One key thing to note, which is the Black Friday deal number two, which is the fact that if you go ahead and go to the shop and you purchase jewels, scroll all the way down. If you buy the jewel box E, the most expensive one in the game, uh, which over here in the US is $100, not only do you get the typical 14,700 jewels that you get along with it and the 50 uh, t skip tickets pluses, you also get a free copy of the new Supernova Riku Replica medal uh, as well. So instead of having to gambling your way and spend hundreds of dollars in order to potentially get the Riku Replica, you only have to spend $100 to get the Riku Replica. Now it's worth noting that you will only receive one copy of the Riku Replica Supernova medal 
period, even if you buy Google Boxy multiple times. So if you happen to be a whale, you can't just exploit that deal and get multiple copies of the Riku Replica medal. Riku Replica will also be distributed on the 5th of December as well. So it's not gonna be an immediate thing that you can get right now. Now, just a key thing to note real quick about the whole VIP deal thing, uh, about getting half your jewels back, even though it states that for those who purchase the VIP deal on Monday, they do state in their notes that if you happen uh, to spend jewels now, starting today on Black Friday, uh, you can still get your jewels back, assuming you at least get your VIP during sometime next week. So as long as you get the VIP from next week, any jewels that you spend from today, Black Friday, up to the end of next week's VIP deal, you will get your five, uh, your jewels, half your jewels back. Now, in terms of the actual banners themselves that we're getting on Black Friday, today and such, uh, these are the ones that they've kind of presented us. So we are getting the Supernova Riku Replica banner, which is new for Global. Uh, as I pointed out in my last video, we do get three new medals. One of them is a high score challenge medal, which is VVB. Uh, but we're also getting the Supernova Riku Replica, which is the new Supernova medal in the game. It's literally just the speed reverse version of the other two Supernova medals we currently have in the game which are the Sephiroth and the Key Art 19, which are also uh, being back for Black Friday, uh, as well as we're seeing a return of all of the four tellers and the Kingdom Hearts 3 Riku EX+. Every single one of these banners have the uh, VIP deal thing about getting half your jewels back applied to it, assuming you get the VIP deal, okay? There is nothing, aside from that, there is nothing special about these banners aside from the fact that like, uh, ignoring the Supernova medals, every single one of the four tellers and Kingdom Hearts 3 Riku are a five pole mercy pool. The other three Supernova banners are literally just the exact same banners that we had in the past where only the Prime medal is merciable, the Supernova medals themselves are not merciable. So because of that, like I always recommend in the past, just don't chase for them at all whatsoever. So let me just talk about real quick about the entirety of these Black Friday deals. Realistically, from my standpoint, I find pretty much the majority of all these Black Friday de deals, I should say, uh, that we're getting for Black Friday to kind of be a little bit bogus just because of the fact that it com goes completely against the whole point of what Black Friday is supposed to be about. I don't know about you guys, and I don't know if how Black Friday works in other parts of the world, or even if you have Black Friday, but I've been living in the US my entire life, and the way Black Friday goes is that you grab a product, you give it a big discount, uh, which makes people want to buy it more compared to usual. Now the whole concept about Black Friday from a business perspective is that if you make something that's wanted cheaper than usual for a exclusive amount of time, which is usually Black Friday up to like Cyber Monday, for instance, people are going to naturally want to purchase your product uh, on a much higher demand compared to usual just because of that discount. Especially because of the fact it's on an exclusive time frame. Something that I'm pretty sure Square Enix is very familiar about because they do it all the time in this game. The entire concept of Black Friday literally lines up with what they do for banners in this game. Where they make pretty much every banner exclusive at this point. And you probably won't see the medal until it comes back at a later point, if ever. Uh, that's the whole point of exclusivity in this game to help drive sales and maximize profits as much as possible because it paints a picture in our minds that, oh crap, I'm never going to see this medal again or I'm not going to see it for a few months anyways. I got to spend my money now to help get this medal, okay? That's literally what happens and the concept is no different from Black Friday. However, the main difference about Black Friday and this for Union Cross or gotcha games in general is the fact that this is a one time a year event and is usually a very huge event to the point that even mention it in games like Union Cross in the first place. Uh, that people literally look forward to Black Friday to just throw their money <laughs> at companies and products and stuff. Like it's not a joke when I say the stores legitimately go completely out of stock on Black Friday days. Like this is a very common occurrence. 
And it's simply because of the fact that they provided a discount on a bunch of their products, which makes more people than usual want to purchase their products, which in return makes them more money because of the fact that even though they're receiving a smaller margin of return per product, because of the fact that the number of customers are coming to get that product are way higher than usual, you're actually accumulating more profit than usual. <laughs> If anybody's taking economics, this, this is the whole premise of what like supply and demand uh, is is based around. Uh, and it's pretty much because of this that I'm just, it just completely baffles me and disappoints me when I see that Square can't even provide a proper Black Friday deal for this game. Personally, what I would normally expect from a Black Friday deal of any sort from any sort of company or game or whatever is a discount in price because that's legitimately the whole point of Black Friday, which is where you can even grab something expensive, get it on discount on Black Friday that you normally would not be able to afford or afford anytime soon for that matter, but you can get it on that day because of the discount. That's pretty much the whole point of Black Friday. Okay, that's why people go crazy over Black Friday. People s literally will save for Black Friday. So in terms of Black Friday, I was expecting more along the lines of maybe at least some free pools, a falling price deal, uh, maybe a discount on the VIP deal, or even the actual jewel purchases that they have in the shop. Um, just something along these lines, because that's literally what Black Friday is supposed to be about. Like literally, for example, uh, in the first year that Union Cross came out, uh, when Black Friday rolled around, VIP was $5. Five dollars. VAP usually costs about fifteen dollars over here in the U.S., and I know it costs even way more in other parts of the world. Like, legitimately, can you guys begin to even imagine how many people would actually purchase VIP this coming week if it was five dollars again? Sure, Square Enix would be cutting down the price of VIP by two thirds, but at the same time, I'm willing to bet you that the amount of people who would actually get VIP next week if it was five dollars again could easily be three times as many or more the amount of people who regularly get VIP in the first place. In which case they would actually make more money <laughs> than they would normally do, do from VIP. Like it's it's a very simple concept. Yeah, for some reason it's almost like Square Enix is just completely unfamiliar with this or or what either that or they're just being super stingy about the fact. The whole point of Black Friday is to help people who normally won't get your stuff to be able to get your stuff, which usually equates to higher sales because more people than usual are buying your stuff. Okay, that's kind of like the whole point of Black Friday. However, this doesn't do that at all. What all that these Black Friday deals are doing is make it so that people who already spend money on your game are still going to be spending money on your game. That's it. That's it. It doesn't actually incentivize new people who haven't been spending money on your game to spend money on your game. It doesn't do that at all whatsoever. And that's kind of why I was stating in the beginning of this video that on one hand, I'm glad that uh, this year Square actually provided a Black Friday deal, no matter how bad it is, of some sort for the game. Because last year we didn't even get that. I don't remember what we got for the year before that. Um, but on the other hand, it's, it's just so bad that it's not even really worth being called a Black Friday deal. They're just calling it Black Friday for the sake of trying to get some extra cash out of it, but it's not really a Black Friday deal. It, it's a Black Friday deal for whales, and that's it. Now, if you happen to be a whale, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just more the fact that the whole point of Black Friday is to help benefit everybody, not just a select group of people. But other than that, I would love to hear what your guys' thoughts and opinions are in the comment section down below. Please, by all means, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from Kinematoon Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.